Hi, this is Matt Murphy from Ambient Weather. Maintenance is key to the efficient and accurate operation of your weather station. We are going to be going through maintaining the WS2902C and WS2000 weather station with our Ambient Weather Maintenance Kit. After we demount our weather station and bring it inside, is we're going to start our visual inspection. And so what we're going to be looking for here is we're actually going to go ahead and um, open up our maintenance kit here. We're going to go ahead and um, take out a screwdriver. It's going to be the screwdriver that you're going to use to remove your wing cups and your wind vane assemblies. So what we'll do here is, if you look right here, there's a set screw that is present on all of these. Insert your screwdriver. These should not be overly tight. Now we'll remove. Go ahead and set that to the side. We're going to do the same thing with our wind vane assembly. Remove that. Now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to inspect the shafts of where those attach to make sure that there's nothing that's cracked, make sure there's no corrosion, make sure that they spin freely. Now what we do want to note is that on the wind vane assembly, there is one flat side. This is keyed specifically to hold the wind vane and not the wind cup. So what we're also going to proceed to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our rain cup. Once again, do a visual inspection, make sure that there's nothing that's degraded, brittle, um, or, and or debris or clogged. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside of our rain gauge mechanism, ensure that the tipping mechanism is operating properly, so that way it's reading accurate rain. We also wanna make sure that there's nothing clogging any of the drain holes on the self-emptying, because then that can lead to the float not uh, tipping properly and not reading accurate rain. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip our device over. We're gonna go ahead and inspect our thermal hydro assembly. This is gonna be your solar radiation shield. You wanna make sure that there's no cracking on it, it's not brittle, that there's nothing that could possibly allow it not to function properly and that can actually throw off your temperature readings. Now what we're also gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our solar panel here. And now what we're gonna be looking for is uh, any type of um, bleaching out or any type of condensation that may appear on here. Uh, this is a sealed unit, so there should not be any um, condensation on the inside of the solar panel. Um, we're also going to go ahead and inspect, this is gonna be our UV and light sensor here. Inspect that as well, make sure that uh, it's functioning properly and also ensure that it is clear so that way it is actually getting solid sunlight. Now what we're actually gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and flip over our device. And we're gonna take our fingers here, we're gonna go ahead and pull that towards ourselves. And we're gonna go ahead and remove our batteries. We're gonna perform a visual inspection of the battery compartment. Make sure that there's no corrosion on any of the contacts where the batteries go. Uh, ensure that, um, that the plastic housing, that there's no cracks or anything like that that could allow weather to get in. And we're actually gonna start performing the maintenance. Now that we've completed our visual inspection of the actual outdoor array. So what we'll do is um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll take um, out one of our uh, swabs here. And we're gonna make sure that we go through and we clean all of our contacts thoroughly. So that way we're preventing any kind of corrosion from building up and also removing any dirt that could provide, prevent a good connection with the actual battery. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some reassembly. Go ahead and take your wing cup assembly, make sure, ensure that it is going on the shaft that does not have the flat inside because that is intended for our wind vane. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. We don't want to go too tight though. We'll do the same thing with our wind vane. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we're gonna take our replacement batteries that come in our maintenance kit, and we're gonna go ahead and replace those. We're gonna be looking for, there's a red LED that lights up right there. Let's go ahead and reinstall our battery door. And now 
we'll go ahead and flip over our device and reinstall our rain cup. Now that uh, we're gonna go ahead and take out our microfiber cloth, we're gonna wipe everything down to remove any type of oils or fingerprints. So then that way there's nothing for dirt to stick to or anything that could cause possible points for anything to build up. Okay. So now that we've wiped everything down, go ahead and flip it back over. We're gonna look at our mounting hardware. We wanna make sure that there's no corrosion or anything like that on it. If there are nuts that um, do become corroded to the point that they need to be replaced, please use the replacement nuts that come in the maintenance kit to perform that. Now that we've completed the maintenance on our weather station, we're gonna go ahead and mount it back up outside and make sure we're getting good readings. Hopefully this allowed you to perform maintenance on your WS2000 or WS2902C weather station. We do recommend that this be performed once a year. The weather station maintenance kit can also be purchased on our website at ambientweather.com.